question oh my guys you guys have a lot of questions let's do it fast um two to five words about your kids and their dates of birth i'll start off with my firstborn uh 4th of september 2015 i will say she is very empathetic she is very anahuru masana na imani and the second one ama aisha february 12th 2020 corona baby she's very feisty she's very fiery she's very aggressive she she knows what she wants and she's not afraid to go get it like she's a go getter and the third one is salim salim i gave birth to him on the 9th of september 2021 he is so sweet oh he's like gentle he's a gentle giant like yeah mhm mm next what can you suggest to someone who is about to relax their hair if your hair is virgin hair and you're about to relax do it at a professional salon first of all alafu jua nyele zako kama ni nyele ngumu tafuta relaxer super kama ni nyele laini tafuta relaxer regular do not do the opposite alafu another thing i would advise you is when you're about to relax eh, do deep conditioning treatment every week non negotiable you do not negotiate about that okay deep conditioning treatments protein treatments very very important those are my tips for you next question uh where do you see yourself in 5 years oh my god guys this all depends on allah and where he's he leads me and i will go but i would like to say i see myself in 5 years like my kids are all in school like i have more time to myself because right now it feels like i'm trying to juggle everything right now a lot is going on my door is ringing nani a few moments later uh where was i i was saying that um in 5 years i see myself like all my kids are in school and i have a bit more time to myself like taking things slow and doing most of the things that i like like i want to I want to get back to the gym, you know, get back in my fitness and you know do things that I like stuff many stuff like half time to myself like take naps. <laughs> I really take naps, guys. Oh. Okay. Next question. How do you deal with a C-section on the first month with the baby? Okay, on the first month after Guzana cesarean, uh, your stitches are still very 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 fresh. So you need to keep them dry and clean always, right? Do not lift heavy things and uh, avoid stair stairs na kuran run and going up and down the stairs. Mm, if you have a kid like a toddler bo haski maneno like have someone who can like be with them asikurukie rukie all the time like that's my advice for you with the Yeah and the baby si lazima umbebe saa zote breastfeed them while you're seated down put a pillow mweke hapo breastfeed them and once uh, they're fed burp them after they burp mweke chini hii beba beba saa zote kumzoezesha mkono it's not advisable okay okay next question what's the craziest uh, rumor you've heard about yourself <laughs> guys the craziest rumor i've heard about myself was when i was living in sri lanka i heard that what wanasema ni meritadi Yes guys I really had this and the person who told me that was like my mom I think I was like is it true I had to ask you because these words are just all over the place everyone is talking about it I was like what is it mama and she was like I heard that you are no longer a muslim I was like what the heck guys I would not change my religion for nobody for nobody yeah that is my relationship with Allah so that yeah that's the craziest rumor I've ever heard a vlog okay this one wants a vlog on how to oh oh oh, 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 oh. this question is say do a vlog on what to take on a staycation or a honeymoon uh -huh, uh -huh. yes we will do that vlog on a honeymoon what you should carry in your bag Ooh, this is going to be juicy next question what's the best oil i can use for thick hair and treatment afro lanka oil guys this one over here make sure you get it okay and if you want to get it please contact me on my instagram please on my instagram follow me dm me and i will organize a delivery wherever you are eldoret malindi uko api mombasa nairobi kampala barara where you are dar es salaam zanzibar uk please contact me and you'll get this oil it's an ayurvedic hair oil it's good for hot oil treatments and it's good for like 
growing the hair thick and shiny and luxurious and yeah all the good stuff next question um the hardest part about being a mother oh guys the hardest part about being a mother is like you love your kids okay you really really love them they're like you're everything but sometimes they're the ones that exhaust you and sometimes you look at them and like they suck the life out of you but then you love them so much and you're just there like that's the hardest part i think like you have to like be present be there for them while you're already like fueled out already tapped out already wiped out that's the hardest part about being a mother and you have to show up and put a smile on your face and be positive for them and you know you're not supposed to show them that you're exhausted you're not supposed to show them that you know you want it okay <laughs> you know so yeah that's the hardest part hair tips for baby's hair guys if your baby is less than one year Obviously, the hair is not growing as fast or as full as you would wish. Guys, do not push your kids. They are babies. Their little organs are still growing. So the nutrients they eat, it's, it's being uh, prioritized by your, their body, their rapid growing body. So if your baby is gaining weight uh, constantly and they're, they're growing very well, please do not... Um, stress about sana about the hair right the hair is gonna come just make sure they're healthy and happy that's my tip uh your experience with marriage uh tra transitioning to a new country okay guys my experience with marriage guys my marriage i love him so much and this for him is his first marriage which i really like i find it really honorable like you know guys it's his first ever marriage and he chose me oh guys so it was a very beautiful uh transition uh we decided to come to uganda because that's where he works this is where he works so yeah coming to uganda at first i got a lot of culture shock guys i didn't expect first of all uganda to be the way it is i didn't expect people not to speak swahili so that's a video for another day but yeah, I was nervous. Monzo Square Harusi. Oh, guys, I was supposed to wear like a gown, the whole shebang, walk in the walk in the wedding reception, you know, do the whole photos, the whole thing. I wanted a small thing, but then again, I was like, ah, because it's his first marriage, let's do the whole shebang. So we did the whole shebang. It was so much fun because this time it was like my best friend, somebody I love so much. So we had a lot of fun. Uh, we did photo shoots. We planned it together. Like it was just me and him, like planning, like what are you gonna wear? Winter faibi, winter faibile. Was it with Tamachi? I'm with Tangiliana. Photo shoot, nani? Ushampigia nani? Like we were like coordinating. It was so nice. Um, I was nervous when I was walking down the aisle because you know being a single mom and you know a divorcee, I knew that people would be lurking and people would be like. Ooh, whispering and you know whatever but then again i was like fuck it <laughs> i had so much fun on my wedding so yeah it was so it was so good to be present to be willing and uh, go through it like yeah it was good uh next question uh did you deliver normal or cesarean i'm a cesarean mother next question what makes marriage a happy one what makes marriage a happy one <laughs> guys you need to know that the person you're marrying is not perfect first of all is not perfect and the moment you understand and tolerance like you accept and you compromise like but you need to choose the things that you can be able to like tolerate okay when you're going in a marriage you see me ana mapungufu yake when ipiga utakuja uliwa mama na tolerate kupigwa Ama wa tolerate miadharati, uh, someone is doing drugs and you're like, na tolerate, kwa sababu nobody is perfect, wave. Look at the things that you can tolerate, man. <laughs> Huu moyo, hauja mwa na jiwe. Look at the things that you can tolerate. Ana, kila mtu na mapungufu. Angalia le mapungufu ya mwezako, angalia le kama waweza kuya tolerate, ni sawa, waweza kuishi kwa amani na vizuri. Na... Marriage, marriage is all about compromise and tolerating because you, you can't be one person. Like me and my husband, we are totally different. Mimi, I'm always ah, loud and hyper and full of energy. He's always the calm one, the the one who like <laughs> he thinks like. 
you the same manini he's composed yeah and like me me i'm always like i'm just a big bunch of like everything and craziness okay uh next question is kindly share the prenatal vitamins you used for ah, i used pregnant care here next question what is it about motherhood you love the most oh guys what i love about motherhood <laughs> i'm sure most care to talk about what i love most about motherhood is i know i'm not perfect i know i mess up i fuck up but my kids but the way they see me they see me like this goddess like this superwoman like this perfect perfect being and i just love being in their presence walking in galavilla i'm like ha, 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 i'm your queen <laughs> guys i love that about motherhood like you know they're like my little minions and i get to be like the ruler <laughs> okay guys but i'm i'm making jokes but i i know you understand what i mean like they always you're always perfect in their eyes that is so rewarding and so beautiful i think about motherhood and it's so rewarding <laughs> for the crazy for the crazy tips for wedding night huh? Huh? one of the crazy tips for wedding nights guys this should be a video for another day like Hini, i'm just gonna give you a tip if you're getting married and you are thinking about your wedding night and all the crazy things you're gonna do girl don't do them this is my tip mm, ask me why what I, what I would advise you is like let him lead let him lead get to know him like you know privately in the bedroom get to know what you are dealing with first mm. let him take the steering wheel let him lead you at the beginning you might you might discover things you like that he's doing that you like you know now sometimes like if you come off like women do women do you are leading women do you're doing all the crazy things he's gonna expect that for the rest of the marriage <laughs> so, <laughs> you're creating a expectations <laughs> so guys on your first night of marriage let him lead you know what you're dealing with no you open the nini you get to know you're just reading them like okay shaku njua kwa hivi okay nita kupeleka hivi basi you know lakini ukijifanya wewe sasa ndo right wewe ndo unajua design zote wewe ndo mama he'll be expecting that every night na sasa utakuja shindo maana kutakuja nao vitoto vichokoro utakuwa mzaa sasa you'll be like aya siezi mama gogola spaki unjibaga bu mwanamke kongala like where's all the craziness now you know tip hiyo na hapa jamani next question <laughs> how has two kids back to back been two kids back to back is exhausting it's exhausting mentally and physically yes kosa mwana mwana mimi na mwana mwili tu na mwana mwili tu waje zile sindano zile za kuzaa guys zile guys zile ziko strong and they take time to get off your body so mimi nilizipiga last year nikazipiga na this year paka daktari was like mama this is dangerous what you are doing if you are giving birth with this cesarean Please give yourself a gap in between. So yeah, it's really demanding. It demands you to be there yeah, physically, emotionally, everything. Yeah. Next question. How much hair does one supposed to lose uh daily when combing, please with a picture? Okay. So when you're combing your hair daily, come away you don't lose even one strand when malaika but when if you're a human being you need to have some shedding which is very normal around 100 to 150 strands of hair is very normal when you're combing your hair every day and here's a picture for you madam shauna next question how much okay chamski zao why don't you have a hair package just like your face kit jamani ni una maswali hii mwanzo ninafungua frolanka because of hair and then you guys were like mm -mm, we need something ayurvedic for the face i went and dig and dig and dig and did my homework and came up with a nice ayurvedic package for the face now you guys you want face uh, hair kits like a whole package because guys um still afrolanka is growing i would like to believe like it's still growing inshallah there are going to be more products for hair come out like our own deep conditioning treatments that's what i'm aiming for i've been having a lot of challenges with that but then again why i don't have a kit like mtu ananua hiyo kit you get everything in one kit i would love that but then again you know people have different hair like 
different hair porosities different hair densities so you can't make one package like a one shoe fits all for everyone i might consider that in the future but for now it's it, it's very demanding because i need to specify like this is for which kind of porosity this is for which kind of like relaxed hairs this is yeah, package your natural hairs you know so it's really really demanding so far you just have to like sit down and plan which i don't have the time to because i'm a youtuber a mother and a content creator and a businesswoman lucky me i put i put i put your your idea into consideration thank you very much for that how do you do your makeup simple and really nice <gasps> Guys, I'll give you just a tip. Wana hii routine nilofanya kwenye face. If I do this with products Amazon nanunua barabarani, this is going to be a hot mess. So I really believe in like using like good quality branded makeup. Like it really melts in your skin, like it's really blending very well. Me kipaka branded makeup, I feel like I know how to do makeup. Sikudanganyi. <laughs> Like when I use this easy, easy makeup makeup zang hmm. ah guys hapa natokea kala nyingine huku kala nyingine so yeah I I would just advise you to just go for like um legit makeup yeah and a lot of youtube <laughs> guys natoka mbali if I if I'm able to like put my face together like this natoka mbali does hair oil help with itchy scalp okay in my instagram on the highlights there's a whole highlight I did a discussion about itching scalp. Itching scalp can be caused by two things. Either skin yako iko dry like a desert or your skin is oily. Very very oily. So, yeah. You need to do an assessment of your flaking and the itching. You see if your skin is oily, you need to do uh, apple cider rinse. If your skin is like really dry, you need to keep moisturizing your hair all the time. Yeah, so does your hair oil help with the itchy scalp? That's the question. If you have eczema, I've had a lot of customers with eczema that have said that Afrolanka has really helped them with the itchy scalp. Okay, guys, we're almost through. Muni muni bombard na question. How do you manage your life as a mother to young kids? I have one and I'm getting crazy. Guys, I told you, please get assistance. Get a nanny. Get dadako mdogo ambayo za kusaidia anybody who can help you oh, do not die on your own there's nobody who's going to give you a trophy for dying on your own okay so another one how irregular were your menses with pcos recommend a good doctor in mombasa guys as you know i have pcos i think i have pcos in one of my ovaries only because i remember when i was pregnant i was doing a scan and the scanning guy was like you have pcos but it's on one side but Ever since I grew up, I knew I have PCOS, but I knew it was on both. And my menstruation before having my first kid, it was like a three months gap, six months gap. I will not see my period within six months. I was three months. Yeah, it was so normal for me since I was 11 years old. That has been normal for me. And then after I had Amaya, my first daughter, I used to get my menstruation every month. I feel like she's my miracle baby. She has really opened up like my... My uterus and my you know, system, like vitu vilikuwa vimesaki saki na when I had her, I used to get a very regular menstruation, guys. So, and about the doctor, mm, I'm not sure about Kenya, but I know in Sri Lanka because I addressed my PCOS issue, like I decided to like face this issue when I was in Sri Lanka. But um, in Kenya, perhaps maybe my viewers, guys can comment down below which doctor you can recommend in Mombasa or in Kenya that can help this uh, my friend here with the PCOS. Next question: Do you plan to have more kids? Oh no 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 no! For now, no. <laughs> How old are you? I'm thirty first. <laughs> I'm thirty first. <laughs> diamond. Ah, diamond. 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 I am thirty first, guys. <laughs> Ah, one thing you have learned in life that will always consider one thing that I've learned in life that I will always consider while I'm living in this world always take a leap of faith I think in anything that you do you know 
whatever you whatever you want to try to do do it like do not wait you don't know when when is your last day on this earth do it as long as okay it's within your 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 religious beliefs you can have it to hope again be consider it okay <laughs> like any like starting up a business getting married like doing things you are scared of do not be afraid to jump you are afraid of falling but sometimes honey you can fly i'm getting goosebumps just saying this because i have done i have lived most of my life with this like i just do things <laughs> even my sisters they're like no you're crazy you're not even scared do, do you ever consider i do get scared i do get um i do question myself sometimes but then i do it because i'm just like positive i feel like you don't know something good might happen out of it you know so yeah that's 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 what uh that's what i would live by like one thing i've learned in this thank you for that question i really like take chances in anything take chances uh another question i think this is the last one what point in your life uh you told yourself nah i'm going to be a stay home mom with a side business <laughs> <laughs> guys okay this was totally unplanned like in i'm so thankful that it unfolded this way because you know working ah guys me i used to hate working i just used to work because i wanted salary but i hate working the whole business politics the work office politics you know the whole <laughs> being told what to do all the time like you have to to like always be stuck up the manager is here is coming kuna meetings kuna deadlines someone is always behind your neck like i just i couldn't handle the pressure but then when i come when i came back to kenya i started job hunting by the way i did start job hunting but i failed <laughs> because you know this our kenya you need to know someone who knows someone to know someone for you to get a job and me i just came from sri lanka i don't know someone and na mimi si mtoto wa mtu kama si i don't have a name you know in kenya you need to have a name my my family name is this my dad is known as this my father is this this and a connections so some of us we are just humble kenyans our parents are just like dropouts from school i'm not going to lie my mom ali maliza standard 6 But then Alisa Mangumbaro and then she did like English and then she she tried to continue her, her education while she was an adult. My dad Pia alimaza tu from 4. So yeah, so my parents are not like well connected. So it was really tough for me to find a job in Kenya. It was really really a challenge. So then yeah, <laughs> I had no option. I had to be a stay home mom. Like in me I always like to keep active. So yeah, I had a side hustle, I started business here and there here and there. Yeah, guys. So that's my story and yeah do not be afraid if you want to start a business do not be afraid usingoje ngoje ati mpaka nipate capital siyo shingapi don't start okay you have a dream my dream is to be like this but the beginning of that dream is not going to look like that the end product you are going to start kidogo kidogo kuchini chini and then eventually it's going to be that big dream you know so start tomorrow start whatever you want to do start me i tell you start any business idea you have what akutengeza nini ufanye nini tengeneza post in your whatsapp uh, page post in social media iko nunua bundle yako niwe zungumza na bundle yako tu post start you are going to find your community you are going to attract your market you are going to attract your market pool it's going to come and business ama anything you want to start be consistent with it finish finish what you start what you wingi wana wana nani wana ajizi or they start something and then they don't finish so yeah So guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed answering all your questions and yeah, hopefully you'll subscribe, you'll share, you you know do all the needful and I'll catch you on my next video guys. Bye.